So I want to talk about trust issues today. I feel like this is a big issue yeah. with many women in general. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like our greatest need is security, right, to feel safe. And um, I was adopted at the age of six months, but I had some trauma that happened to me beforehand. And so um, I ended up just seeking all these really bad relationships for value and worth throughout my life. And so I'd get into relationships as a teenager. I'd cheat on my boyfriend. He would cheat on me. We were just a disaster. It was just so bad. Then I found Christ and I was like, like wait, hold on. Fornication is wrong. I didn't know that. I called it fornification. <laughs> You know what I mean? So then I have all this baggage that I'm carrying with me that I'm like believing God that I'm healed from, set free. Then I meet my husband. We wait to kiss until our wedding day. Amen. A year and eight months, right? So you would think that I'm going into marriage with like, oh, all these great, you know, no trust issues, everything's fine. No, I dragged all the baggage that I had with me into my marriage. My husband would be like, I'm going to get a haircut. And I'm like, who's at the barber shop? Like, he's like, my barber. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm being a crazy person. And I would go through his phone that first year of our marriage. And he would be like, I'm not talking to anybody. I'm with you 24 seven. We work together. We, we do everything together at this little house. And so I had to go overcome that barrier. And what worked for me is one day I remember just, I remember the Holy Spirit telling me, like, I'm, I love you so much. Like, your identity is in me. It's not in yeah. who abandoned right, you. It's right. not in who rejected you. Right. It's not in those things. And I had to learn that, like, I'm not going to be a crazy person. I'm not going to spend my whole life right. in bondage to my past and who I used to be. So I surrendered my, my marriage to the Lord. And I said, God, here it is. I'm no longer going to be a crazy person. I, I give it to you and I surrender it to you. And then I remembered I'd have those thoughts come up, like go through his phone. And it's like, he'd give me no reason to yeah. look at his yeah. phone. I was just being crazy. <laughs> and I'd say, no, he's not my past. He's yeah. not my ex-boyfriend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's my husband mm -hmm. and he's yeah. a godly man and he's a good man. So I had to fight back with the word of God and open up my mouth and say, no, I'm going to pass this test. Yeah. And then I watched our marriage change. Wow. Like mm -hmm. I watched literally the enemy stopped attacking me in that very area because I wasn't giving in to every yeah. desire or urge to yeah. be crazy. Yeah. I think that there is this, I mean, this is a huge conversation that's not being addressed, but it's yeah. it's barriers to intimacy. We want to yeah. be known, we want to be trusted, we want to trust someone, but without even realizing there's barriers that we are aware of or unaware of. You had a high level of self-realization, yeah. but there are sometimes we're in relationship with people where they're not aware yes. of some of the barriers that they too possess. And so yeah. my husband and I have spoken openly about this and he is totally okay with me saying this, yeah. but our first year of marriage was so incredibly difficult. Heather, like yourself, I was a virgin when I got married. Well, I was a virgin when I got married, but I did kiss my, my husband before we were married. Don't judge me, right. don't right. judge me, it's don't judge me. Right. But, was, but we waited and we did everything right. Wow. So I That's thought, right. you know, yeah. Songs of Solomon, it's all good. Like we waited, we didn't open yeah. up anything. Everything's gonna be just heavenly and perfect. But I was wife 2.0 for him, so he was divorced, and he had worked through so many issues, pastoral counseling, even some great godly therapy and yeah. counseling, but he was unaware of some of the baggage that was coming into our marriage. And at one point I turned to him and I said, I cannot pay for the sins of your ex-wife. So if you yeah. have a high level of self-awareness yeah. and you can yeah. have a Holy Spirit conversation, amazing. But can we be open enough with people that we have built relationship with right. that if they say that there is a trust issue, it yeah. might be a barrier that's inhibiting us from opening ourselves up or being known, which is the core of what we want. Yeah. We want to be yeah. known, mm -hmm. seen and loved for yeah. the totality of who we are. What do you guys think about therapy? I feel like it's becoming more popular now. It's but powerful. It's right? Christian therapy. I was, yeah, I was gonna powerful. say Christian therapy. Christian therapy <laughs> is very powerful. Yeah. I actually went to a therapist yeah. a few times Beautiful. because I said, I, I felt like I was fine, mm -hmm. but I, I was like, let me go and make sure because I'm pouring out. We're, yeah. we're all in ministry. Mm -hmm. If you're constantly pouring out all the time, who's pouring back into you? Yes, you right. can go spend time with the Lord, but I think being in ministry, sometimes you get elevated to this level and everybody's like, oh, you're so great. You never go through anything. Mm -hmm. So I went to a therapist a few times. I'm like, talk this Beautiful. out with me, make sure that I'm yep. okay, yep. just for upkeep. Yep. But I feel like therapy is a good thing. If you have been through some type of abuse, some right. type of trauma, yep. Yep. if you're yep. adopted, rejection, um, if you're, you know. Betrayal. Betrayal, yep. yes. divorce, yes. all those Definitely. different things. Yes. Don't fight the battle by right. yourself. Right. You know what I mean? Right. You need to have a game plan right. because the enemy is trying to yeah. attack you. Hi everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. Thanks for being a part of our Better Together community.